Now, coverage you can count on from News Channel 9. The southern tier is already getting a taste of the major winter storm that's moving our way. Good evening, I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Julie has the night off. Well, much of the Northeast tonight is bracing for a major winter storm that's making its way up the coast. Here's a, what it looked like in Binghamton a little bit earlier today where the snow started falling a few hours ago. Already a few inches have fallen there. And then down in Elmira, at least three inches have fallen in just a few hours there this afternoon. Here's what it looked like. Pretty calm just outside our News Channel 9 studios on Bridge Street. No snow as of right now. That was just a few minutes ago. But that will soon change from what I'm told. It's the word from our News Channel 9 storm team. They've been here all afternoon uh, checking the computer models and keeping tabs on this later storm. Jim Teske joins us now with the latest on this winter storm. Jim. Well, first off, Jeff, like we were saying last night, this is going to be a prolonged event. This is going to go on into the day on Tuesday. One thing that's starting to become more apparent as we go through the day today is that it will come in actually two pieces, one batch of snow tonight and during the first half of Monday, and then we will be dealing with another batch of snow most likely as we go into Monday night and uh, into Tuesday. Let's show you, first off, we want to show you the radar before we get to the uh, snow totals to give you an idea of where the snow is now and where that snow is going to be impacting you over the next couple of hours. Here's a band of heavy snow that worked its way north from uh, Elmira and Binghamton. This is the area of snow that brought upwards of three inches across the southern tier, affecting areas from just west of Auburn back toward Penn Yen and north of Watkins Glen. Still more back to the south, also stretching from Cortland over toward Norwich. This activity again all moving to the north, northwest at this point. I think uh, we will be in and out of snow now as we go through the nighttime hours. And it's it will come down heavily. Let's take a look at what we expect from the first part of this storm. Now this is from now until tomorrow midday, the first part of the storm. Accumulations about four to eight inches stretching from much of the Finger Lakes across toward the Syracuse area down toward the Mohawk Valley. South of Syracuse as you move uh, from Ithaca, Watkins Glen, Cortland, uh, Norwich over toward Cooperstown. Expect about 8 to 12 inches. Again, that is through midday. For a time tomorrow afternoon, we think the snow will let up a little bit, but don't let your guard down because we think there will be additional snow after that. That's tomorrow night's snow on top of what you saw before, 6 to 12 inches possible here in the Syracuse area. We'll give you a storm total and take a closer look at this storm coming up in just a little bit. Jeff? Okay, thanks, Jim. Of course, the storm team will keep you up to date with the latest on this winter blast. Well, the city of Syracuse isn't taking any chances with the storm. They have everything in place and ready to go to keep the city running when the snow hits. The city DPW will have close to 50 pieces of equipment on the road to help clean city streets. They'll be clearing, of course, the main routes first, and then they'll make their way to the side streets. City officials say living in central New York, this isn't anything that they can't handle. We are prepared for it. We've had a lot worse. Those of us that have lived here all our life. And what we're trying to say to people are, hey, we're ready, we're prepared, we need your cooperation, we'll do our job, we'll do it good, and uh, we'll keep the city running and we'll keep it open. And Nicoletti says you can help them out by following the odd even parking rules and even if you can, keep your car off the street. An Eastwood teen remains in jail tonight charged with the brutal beating that killed his father Friday night. 17-year-old Christopher Ariola was formally charged in Syracuse City Court this morning with one count of first-degree manslaughter. Ariola said nothing during the arraignment. His attorney entered a not guilty plea for him. Bail was set at $50,000. Investigators say he beat his 48-year-old father, Anthony Ariola, with a baseball bat late Friday night. Well, police didn't charge Christopher Ariola with murder because they say he was living under what they call extreme emotional disturbance. They say that probably played a role in the killing. Our Michael Rickey has been following the case and he joins us now live from the newsroom. Michael, do we have any better idea today what they mean by extreme emotional disturbance? Well, Jeff, police won't say exactly what they do mean by an extreme emotional disturbance. And no one has confirmed that Chris Ariola was in any way abused by his father, Anthony. And Chris's lawyer isn't elaborating much yet either. There's more than one victim here. I guess that's the best way I can put it at this point. Miller says Chris and his dad argued and fought a lot inside their Stafford Avenue home. But nonetheless, he says Chris is still devastated by his father's death. But they had their difficulties, uh, but he's a father that, uh, that he loved and he respected. 
and right now he's uh, he's just beside himself uh, with emotion. People who live in the Eastwood neighborhood and know Chris say he is almost always filled with emotion. They say Chris has a temper and often got in fights, sometimes violent. He's like a time bomb ready to explode, just go off on anybody regardless who it is. But Chris's lawyer says there's more than just teenage angst to consider. This is truly uh, a case that rips the heart out of anybody uh, on the outside looking in. And one can only imagine uh, what this young man uh, and his family are going through right now. Miller says he has talked to several of Chris's family members, including his mom. Now, his mom wasn't uh, with his father at the time. Miller says the family is really worried about the boy. Jeff? Well, Michael, you were in court uh, this morning. Were, was Chris's mom, any family, friends, were they uh, in the courtroom today? No, Jeff. Uh, the only people in the courtroom were just a couple people there, and they were there to be arraigned. Uh, other than that, the courtroom was pretty much empty. But keep in mind, however, Jeff, that the, that the proceedings only lasted just a, two or three minutes, so it was really just a, a quick process this morning. Okay. Thanks a lot, Michael Ricky, for that report. Christopher Ariola will be back in court on March 9th. Well, firefighters spent a few hours this afternoon battling a house fire on Syracuse's west side. Luckily, no one was inside the home at 203 Atisco Street when the fire started. Firefighters say it probably began either in the second floor or the attic of the abandoned home. Probably could even see some smoke billowing from the burning building if you were just about anywhere downtown today. Firefighters tell us no one was hurt. Good news out of Auburn tonight. We're told the sports boosters have raised just enough money to save every spring sport. Today, these kids washed cars for cash on a Wasco Road in Auburn. They've been trying to beat a March 25th deadline to raise enough money for all of the sports in that district. It's just an overwhelming response. You know, just, you know, just having the community get together and say, listen, we are trying to protect our future. And that, that is the, the main thing, protecting the future of our kids. With the $1,800 the kids took in today, the boosters have raised a total of $112,915. That means they're all set to pay for all spring sports. Well, they were all set today for an annual tradition on Tip Hill, the delivery of green beer for St. Patrick's Day. Well, the holiday, of course, isn't for another two weeks or so. Never too early to tap the off-color brew up at Coleman's. Syracuse, green beer, Coleman's, it's just a fun place to be. And the snow in the winter, I love it, too. When the green beer pulls up, uh, yes, that's wonderful, but really everybody kind of connects it with the spring. And Coleman's will be serving the green beer now through St. Patrick's Day. And just a reminder, you can watch the St. Patrick's Day Parade live from downtown on March 17th right here on News Channel 9. Coverage here begins at noon. Well, coming up tonight on News Channel 9, automakers say they underestimated the market. And now they're calling back workers to new venture gear. More local news ahead. Governor Pataki is calling attention to lower statewide welfare numbers. Well, in the weather, the snow is here. We'll tell you how much will be falling over the next couple of days and how that will impact you. Your Storm Team forecast is coming up next. You're watching News Channel 9 Weekend. Coverage you can count on with Julie Abbott, meteorologist Jim Teske, and Stephen Fonte Sports. biggest fear is that her daughter will make the same mistake she's made. You do not know what the world is like. You don't know what the world is like! Amy and Isabel strikes at the heart of that fear. If people knew we were kissing each other, they really wouldn't understand. A mother paralyzed by her past. Her daughter in trouble. You have taken a very, very innocent girl, and you have put your handprint on her forever. And the truth that sets them free. I'm right here. Oprah Winfrey presents Amy and Isabel, tonight, 9, 8 central on ABC. This is DirecTV, the number one digital satellite entertainment service. Call today for our special offer and get the ultimate in movie, sports, and entertainment. All with 100% digital quality picture and sound. 
With one call, you'll gain access to premium channels like HBO, Stars, and Showtime. Exclusive sports subscriptions, plus your top local channels, and up to 55 pay-per-view choices every day. Call now and take advantage of this special offer and get started for practically nothing. Here's how. A DirecTV system and standard installation from DirecTV totals about $200. With your rebate, it's like getting them free. So that's a free DirecTV system and free standard installation. But only if you call today. We'll ship your system to your home and provide professional installation. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-280-4DTV now. More local news now at 610. After five months of on-again, off-again layoffs, New Venture Gear will be close to full strength again tomorrow. The parts maker says car companies overreacted to the market, and now demand is back up. Since October, more than 1,100 workers have been on staggered layoffs. As of tomorrow, only a few New Venture Gear workers will still be off the job. More positive economic news tonight. The number of welfare recipients in New York has gone down by more than 900,000 in the last six years. Governor Pataki says a strong economy, along with his welfare reform package, has helped lower the rolls by 55% since 1995. Well, Jim, we're just slowly starting to see that snow creep uh, closer and closer to us. Yeah, the uh, snow has been heaviest this afternoon down across the southern tier. They got a quick burst uh, of snow there. Some of that activity is into the Finger Lakes. And, you know, we're just starting to get into it, right. uh, something that, you know, we're going to have to contend with for almost two days wow. uh, here. Uh, there will be a lull at one point, but I think everyone will see a decent accumulation of snow. We'll show you the storm totals, what we think is going to happen in just a moment. First off, we take a look at the numbers today. A cold start, only four degrees for the high that was after a low of uh or, or low of four a high of 30. no precipitation officially at the airport through about five o'clock we've seen some flurries out here at our news channel 9 studio however currently we're cloudy in 29 the dew point is 20 relative humidity is 68 percent barometric pressure that is falling now and the winds are out of the east at 11 miles per hour just to give you a quick look to show you what's happening now as we take a look at uh, Live Doppler 9, uh, you can see here in the Syracuse area, fairly quiet. Again, we've only had a few flurries from time to time. Uh, stretch of snow across portions of Otsego, Shenango counties, across right through uh, Cortland. And then by far the steadiest and heaviest of the precipitation now, uh, back from Auburn to Geneva, Pen Yen, uh, and then stretching down into Steuben County. Uh, reports around Pen Yen as this burst went through of about an inch of snow in a couple of hours there. Again, down across the southern tier, they saw precipitation uh, about two or three inches in a very short period of time from Elmira over toward Binghamton. You can see there is more precipitation there. And as we give you a wider view, we can see that the uh, precipitation is actually working its way north from uh, a storm system that was working its way across the southeast. And you can see that snow as it's worked its way into central New York. This is the first batch of precipitation that will be over us tonight and during the day tomorrow at least the first half of the day. We can also notice there is some drier air, and that's going to try to work its way into the system. And that's why we think, at least for a short time during the afternoon, the precipitation may taper off a bit. It may not end, but it will definitely become lighter for a period of time. So we expect that to uh, kind of taper off. But then things will get uh, going again as we take a look at this uh, water vapor loop. Look at this disturbance. We've been tracking this the last couple of days. That'll be diving south and east, and that will help to uh, strengthen a storm along the east coast that will bring more moisture back in here so we'll see kind of a second part of the storm develop as we head into Monday night so this first part of the storm I think it will impact the southern tier the most that's why we've got uh, 8 to 12 inch totals here across the southern Finger Lakes over toward the Catskills 4 to 8 still a decent snowfall north of that this is through midday Monday before we see that lull and then as we head into tomorrow night as the snow kind of redevelops becomes heavier again we expect accumulation 6 to as much as 12 inches through much, much of eastern New York back toward Syracuse and down toward Binghamton. What does this mean as far as a storm total? We think we'll see accumulations as much as a foot to two foot, two feet I should say, up toward the Catskills. Here's Syracuse area, 10 to 
20 inches. This is by the time things wind down Tuesday afternoon. And maybe even a little bit of enhancement from Lake Ontario for you folks across uh, Wayne County over towards Sotus. Lesser amounts, relatively speaking, back across the western Finger Lakes there. Those accumulations still about 7 to 14 inches. So here we go. As we go through the evening hours, periods of snow, 25. Later on, as we go through the overnight, snow continues. Accumulations tonight here in Syracuse, 3 to 6 inches. South of Syracuse, it will likely be more than that. As you wake up tomorrow morning, we continue to see snow. It will taper off a bit during the afternoon. Additional accumulations here in Syracuse tomorrow, 2 to 4 inches. Then the snow again picks up tomorrow night. Here's your planning forecast. Things begin to wind down Tuesday. Wednesday, chance of some flurries or snow. Uh, as we head into Friday, it looks to be dry and chance of snow on Saturday and Sunday. So again, be prepared for a two-part storm, really. The first batch coming tonight and early tomorrow and then again tomorrow night and that could actually be the heaviest snow here in the immediate Syracuse area. Wow, so a little tease tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jim, thanks a lot. Coming up later, Family Health Weekend. If someone you know drinks a little too much, you're going to want to hear what Carrie has to say about a new treatment for alcoholics in Family Health Weekend. First off, though, in sports, the SU basketball team closes out its regular season on the road at St. John's. Stephen Fonte has the highlights next. Have you kept your dreams a secret, even from yourself? Uncover your passion, a step-by-step -step plan. Next, Oprah. Monday at 4 on News Channel 9. I am innovative, practical, and trustworthy. I was voted North American Car of the Year. I have a double five-star government safety rating. I'm one of America's top five selling vehicles. I'm available for just $249 a month for 36 months and leather at no extra charge with $25.76 cash or trade due at signing. Drive me, and your Ford dealer will make your first two monthly payments up to $500. Yep, your first two payments. I am a Ford Taurus. I am a Ford Focus. And we're, we're waiting, waiting for you. Hungry for adventure? Visit Wegmans.com and click on the mask. You could win a trip to Venice with $1,000 to spend only at Wegmans. Today, I will make my wardrobe proud. Today, I'll look in the mirror and declare victory. Today, I'll make my boyfriend say, wow. Join Valley Total Fitness today for as little as $19 down and only $19 a month. Call 1-800-FITNESS. Tone up, $19 down. Slim down, $19 a month. And feel better. Today, I send my muscles a wake-up call. Call Valley Total Fitness today. Time to give Ken's Collision a call. Bring your damaged car for a free estimate at Ken's Collision, 100 Circus Street, Baldwinsville, or call us at 638-0285. So the Orange Men close out the regular season in thrilling fashion. Well, on the surface anyway, today's game against St. John's may have seemed meaningless since it had no effect on SU seating in the Big East tournament, but when you look at the big picture, this game was very important. In addition to their five-game conference road losing streak, the Orangemen entered the day just three and four in their last seven outings, numbers which are frowned upon by the NCAA selection committee. SU trying to get back into good graces this afternoon in the garden. First half, Orange running. Allen Griffin, the drive and dish to Damone Brown for the dunk. Damone, 15 first half points. Syracuse up three at the break. Second half, more SU, more Damone Brown. Picks up the loose ball that starts the break. Deshaun Williams gives it back to Damone for the finish. Brown, 20 points on the day. Then Preston Shumpert begins to heat up, coming off the screen, draining the three. He had 20. SU takes an 11 point lead with five and a half minutes left. But St. John's storms back, if you'll pardon the pun, Willie Shaw, the four point play. That knots the game at 68. We head into overtime. Alan Griffin taking over for the Orange Men in the extra session, stepping up, hitting the big time three, pulling SU within one. Griffin a career high, 31 points. The Orange then with a chance to win it. Two seconds left. Preston Shumper, the baseball pass to Brown. He had Quest Duaney open, but shoots it instead. And so we go into double overtime, and that's when the Orange Men finally take over for good. Duaney hitting in the lane. SU closes it out from the free throw line. They hang on to win it, 93-91. In double overtime, SU won the game at the line, as I said, going 39 for 48, while St. John's was just 23 for 45. Alan Griffin follows up his triple-double with a career-high 31 points. The Orange Men finish up the regular season at 22 and 7. As for SU's next opponent, that was up to Georgetown. A win by the Hoyas today over Notre Dame and Syracuse would open up the Big East Tournament Wednesday against UConn, a loss by Georgetown. 
and the Orange would, would wait until Thursday to play their first game against the winner of Seton Hall and St. John's. Got all that? Well, let's do our best to clear it up. Second half, watch Kevin Braswell take on the entire Notre Dame defense. That gives Georgetown the 16-point lead. Irish battle back, cutting it down to five, but the Hoyas hang on off the miss. It's Braswell again, spotting up, cashing in from downtown. Georgetown wins the game 79-72 and earns that all-important first-round by in the Big East tournament. So that means Syracuse will play Wednesday night at 9 o'clock against Connecticut. If the Orangemen win that one, they'll face Providence Thursday night in the quarterfinals. That game also set to tip off around 9 o'clock. Well, they're separated by a few shades of blue and not much else. Duke and North Carolina are close in proximity, close in talent, and both are closing in on a top seed in the NCAA tournament. The Tar Heels looking for the season sweep as well as the outright regular season conference title, but it was a frustrating day for Matt Doherty's club. Jason Williams dropping into three. He led all scores with 33 points. The Blue Devils pull away in the second half. Shane Battier, the two-handed slam. 25 points for Battier and Duke. Earns a share of the ACC title, 95-81 the final. Elsewhere, Illinois has just defeated Minnesota. Florida gets a good win at home, and Kansas tops Missouri, 75-59. In the NBA, the Raptors continuing their dominance over the Knicks' first half. You can't show Toronto without showing Vince Carter. The explosive move to the bucket, Carter with 25 points. And we know he can do it inside, showing that he's got the outside as well. Banging in the three, Toronto rolls to victory, 98-88 to hockey now and despite losing only twice in their last 13 contests the Syracuse Crunch are still only tied for seventh place in the Western Conference tonight the Crunch on the road at Louisville the league's worst team right now Syracuse trails at 3-1 in the third period onto the NHL scoreboard Dallas beats Buffalo 4-1 and the Rangers fall in Nashville 5-2 finally NASCAR making its pit stop this week in Las Vegas a place Jeff Burton had won each of the last two years but not today just three laps in Burton spins out and finds the wall he finished 39th. As for Dale Earnhardt Jr., crashed on the first lap last week, and this week the bad luck continued. Little Lee gets black flagged after leaving the pits with what they call the catch can still attached. He settled for 23rd. As for your winner, it's Jeff Gordon. He beats out Dale Jarrett for the $1 million purse. That's Gordon's 53rd career victory, tying him with Rusty Wallace for 8th place on the all-time list. And, of course, Jeff, the big story of the day, SU with a big win on the road. It wasn't pretty yeah. at times, but a, a very important win going into the Big East and tournament. And very exciting. That should be a fun tournament. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Steve. Well, coming up on News Channel 9 Family Health Weekend, Carrie's going to tell us about a new shot that may help alcoholics stay sober. That's next. How do you look? I mean, how do you really look? This is Vince Rua, president of Christopher's, formerly Learberry's. Stop by today for our fantastic spring collections of men's fashion suits, sport coats, pants, shirts, and shoes. Leading designer names at everyday low prices. Kenneth Cole, Lubium, Carl Kanai. You only get one chance to make a good first impression. And don't forget our unbeatable tux rental department for your prom. Christopher's Men's Store, Learberry Center, Syracuse. Priced to suit you. This is Direct TV, the number one digital satellite entertainment service. Call today for our special offer and get the ultimate in movies, sports, and entertainment. All with 100% digital quality picture and sound. With one call, you'll gain access to premium channels like HBO, Stars, and Showtime. Exclusive sports subscriptions, plus your top local channels, and up to 55 pay-per-view choices every day. Call now and take advantage of this special offer and get started for practically nothing. Here's how. A DirecTV system and standard installation from DirecTV totals about $200. With your rebate, it's like getting them free. So that's a free Direct TV system and free standard installation. But only if you call today. We'll ship your system to your home and provide professional installation. Offer in soon. Call 1-800-280-4DTV now. And the cry went out across the land. Come to O'Duncan O'Bright for the biggest furniture sale of the year. Shop 9 till 9 every day. Irish bargains throughout the store. Guaranteed lowest prices of the year. Free financing and free design service. Gifts from Ireland, free with every purchase. Enjoy Irish coffee while you shop. Win a trip for two to Ireland. Don't miss out. The Irish Bargain Party. Shop daily 9 to 9 at O'Duncan O'Bright. O'Duncan O'Bright. O'Duncan O'Bright. News Channel 9 wants to know your stories. Call us at 446-9900 for coverage you can count on.
More than 100,000 people die from alcohol-related problems every year. In tonight's Family Health Weekend, Carrie says there's a new experimental treatment that's helping heavy drinkers stay sober. More than 100,000 people die every year because of alcohol-related problems. Now there's a new treatment that's helping heavy drinkers stay sober. Beer made even gray days sunny for Sean Keough, or so he thought, until this self-proclaimed happy drunk got out of control. In fights with everybody, I was running uh, my closest friends off, and so I tried to quit on my own and ended up uh, in Parkland. Doctors realized Keough physically couldn't stop drinking on his own, so they referred him to a medical center where they gave him a shot more powerful than whiskey. It's called Naltrel, an injection that stops the cravings and blocks the effects of booze. And if you can block that pleasurable rush in euphoria, you significantly increase the likelihood that they're going to be able to cut back their use or stop a major relapse of alcohol use, which is critical in a recovery process. Unlike the tablet form, Naltrel is a monthly injection that slowly releases medication over time. So you don't have to remember to take a pill every morning. And if you change your mind and there's an office party coming up on Saturday, it's, your decision's already made for you. You've taken your medicine three weeks ago. It's given Sean the calming power to focus on family and not beer. It basically made the thoughts go away, the cravings go away. I don't know how it does it, why it does it. I'm just glad it does it. And for the first time, even gray days are great days. This treatment is still being studied. And that's Family Health Weekend. I'm Carrie Lazarus. When we continue on News Channel 9, Jim's back to recap what we can expect from tonight's storm. Stay right with us. Today, I will make my wardrobe proud. Today, I'll look in the mirror and declare victory. Today, I'll make my boyfriend say, wow. Join Valley Total Fitness today for as little as $19 down and only $19 a month. Call 1-800-FITNESS. Tone up, $19 down. Slim down, $19 a month. And feel better. Today, I send my muscles a wake-up call. Call Valley Total Fitness today. After I had my kids, I gained so much weight. I tried every diet, but only Nutrisystem worked. I lost 80 pounds, and now I'm back in a size 8. The Nutrisystem plan is easy, convenient, affordable, and the food tastes great. Look, I understand where you are. I never thought I could feel this good about myself again. But I did it, and I know you can too. Nutrisystem.com will make it happen. Log on to Nutrisystem.com for a special online offer. We all expect it to snow this time of year, lake effect or otherwise. News Channel 9 Storm Team Alert informs you of extreme conditions that you need to know about. Informing you and alerting you without alarming you. When conditions turn severe, count on the News Channel 9 Storm Team and Niagara Mohawk Live Doppler 9 to be there with the information you're looking for when you need to know now. Immediate and responsible weather coverage you can count on from News Channel 9.